This is a quick uh, screencast on how to use Slicey and Automator to vastly speed up your asset saving for both iOS and Android. Slicey is going to help us automatically save out all the files needed for both platforms, and Automator is going to help us rename the files and move them wherever they need to go. So, a quick disclaimer, I am not an Automator Pro. I just basically learned enough to be able to make this work. So if my Automator actions look stupid, it's probably because they are, but they do actually work. So if you, uh, if you know a better way of going about these things, please get in contact with me and uh, tell me how stupid I'm being. So um, to start out, let's take a look at our... Uh, PSD in Photoshop. So here I have a big old PSD that I like to call Master Mold. So I have three uh, resolutions in this guy, technically four because iOS Retina saves out uh, is non Retina with Slicey. But I have an HDPI area for Android, an XHDPI area for Android, and in, in between is iOS. So if you take a look here, at the actual folders, you'll notice that I've given them file names and I've also put in uh, clipping masks to define the size of the graphic that gets saved out. So Slicey actually goes through PSD files and automatically finds these file names and just exports those graphics, whatever's inside that folder, as a ping. So let's take a look at what that actually looks like real quick. So let's bring up Slicey. When I drag a PSD file onto Slicey, it automatically generates all these graphics. So we got our PSD, got Slicey set up. The next part is where Automator comes in. So when I have all these graphics saved out, there's just a folder full of tons of graphics. You'll notice in this uh, PSD file, each one of the Android graphics has a prefix HDPI or XHDPI, which uh, is the target resolution. Um, the problem is those prefixes aren't actually used by the app. Instead, we have folders, a folder for HDPI and a folder for XHDPI, where it just looks for the actual file name. So as you see here, HDPI Explore Latest Selected would actually just be Explore Latest Selected. So I need something to be able to go through there, remove the HDPI underscore, and then move it to the folder necessary. So the first step in using Automator to do this is, of course, open Automator. And uh, I actually already have some actions created, but if this is your first time, just go to File, New, and select Folder Action. Now I'm just going to take a look at the, um, the folder action that I've already created. And again, disclaimer, I've probably done stupid things here. So the um, guy up here at the top, you can actually target a folder. I call the folder that I save all my graphics into big bucket of graphics because that seemed appropriate because that's exactly what it is. So the first step here is to create a find folder items action. So it searches the big bucket of graphics folder and finds everything with the XHDPI prefix. Just to be sure, I threw in a filter finder items to filter the selected found items to only things that have the XHDPI prefix. And then the next step, and I'm pretty sure this is actually unnecessary, I move those guys to a temporary uh, file storage folder where I'm going to actually do the renaming. Probably don't actually need to do that, but I didn't want to mistakenly have unrenamed files sitting around where I actually put my files. So I move them to a temp folder, and then I add another action that is the replace text action, where it replaces, it finds the XHDPI underscore, and then it replaces it with absolutely nothing. And the last step is to move that to the actual folder where those files need to be saved. So if you're wondering where I actually get all these actions from that are in here, they're all just uh, found in this huge long list. So uh, you can filter it down to these guys. These are basically the actions that I used is the files and folders section. So let's take a look at what this actually looks like. Let me get the... Uh, big bucket of graphics guy up here. I'm going to delete what I already had in here. These are all 
uh, iOS versions. I'm only applying this filter to the Android one. I just manually drag the iOS ones where they need to go because there's no multiple folders. So here we go. Here's a huge bunch of graphics. Let's just drag them over into this folder. You can see I have the HDPI and XHDPI guys. This folder is being watched by that action. It just renamed the HDPI guys and automatically did what it needed to do. Now, I have two folder actions applied to this folder right now, uh, which you can also right click on any folder and say uh, folder action setup and actually select um, the actions that you've created. And you can see which ones are running. I have two actually running on this guy. And for some reason, my XHDPI action just doesn't kick off sometimes. So I can just jump back over to Automator and manually run it by opening that action, rename XHDPI, and just hit Run. And it goes through, and it does what it needs to do to get rid of those guys. So you'll see the XHTPI dudes are no longer there. All we have now are just the iOS versions, which I just drag manually to where they need to go. Now here's where the um, HTPI and XHTPI uh, guys actually went to. You can see that it got rid of the prefix and it moved the dudes exactly where they needed to be. So now, because I have this master mold PSD file, I can create pixel perfect versions for each platform, save that, take it into Slicey. Slicey automatically pulls out these graphics. I drag those guys into my big bucket of graphics folder. The folder actions automatically take the prefixes for the various resolutions, rip those off and move the files where they need to go so that the devs can actually get to those guys. Definitely saves me a ton of time.